Gravity the Ghost! Hey guys, it's Gravity the Ghost, and welcome to Spiritified! The series where we look at characters from various game worlds that are not spirits in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and try to create battle scenarios to stimulate what their spirit battle would be like in the game. Think of this as something like, uh, Arts the Omni's Smashified, but with spirits instead. The way that we do this is that I show you what their spirit screen would look like, including their spirit type and battle conditions. Then after that, we battle it out using these rules. Alright, today's theme is going to be arms related. This will be part one of two videos to represent the remaining fighters in the arms game, as there is only five armed spirits already in the game of Super Smash Bros. Also, now with this series limiting itself to only five spirits per video, as if you watched the first episode, uh, we had 10 spirits in the video, and it ended up being way too long. Uh, so this time, we'll only be doing 5 spirits from the, from, for the rest of this series uh, to you know, make it more accessible and more watchable. <laughs> so anyways, uh, yep, we're going to be doing arm spirits, starting with the characters that were already in the base game, as there was only 10 in the, uh, 10 in the base game of arms, and then had 5 DLC characters eventually, which we'll be doing in part 2. Alright, let's do some soul searching! Alright, our first character for today will be Master Mummy. This character is a primary spirit that's defensive and will be represented by Ganondorf on the stage, basically the Omega version of Dracula's castle, uh, to closely resemble uh, Master Mummy's home stage, the Mausoleum. The conditions for this battle will actually be, the first one is a recurring one, uh, which is, this will be a stamina battle. As in the ARMS series, it's a fighting game, which is the point of that game is to uh, knock your opponent's health down to zero. Uh, yeah. And the only other uh, condition we have for this character is that the enemy will heal over time to represent Master Mummy's abilities that he can heal while guarding. Our next character is Mechanica. Uh, we'll, she'll be a support spirit and represented by me, Brawler, on the on the Battlefield version of Wrecking Crew. This is the closest that I could to get to the uh, the Scrapyard stage, which uh, the main point of that stage is that it has a low point and a high point, um, and it does have breakable barriers, but we don't really have any of that. We could I could uh, could have done that with the pillars uh, with the regular version, but it would be a little bit too big. Anyways. Obviously, we have a stamina battle, just like Master Mummy. And then the other only condition that we have is that the enemy will be equipped with a rocket belt, which is represented of her ability to hover in the air for a short amount of time. And the enemy's physical attack will be stronger.
Next up, we have Bite and Bark. Uh, these characters will be represented by Rob and will be a support spirit as well. Uh, we'll be playing on the the normal version of Tortimer's Island to represent Buster Beach from Wall well, Arms, which is Mad Bite and Bark's home stage. This will be under a stamina battle and we'll have the backup in the form of Duck Hunt to represent Bark. Um, also, the enemy will be equipped with a Steel Diver, uh, which is going to be the representation of one of their main uh, arms, which is the Sea King. And also, the enemy's backup is made of metal because, uh, you know, uh, Bark is a dog, but a robot dog, so it would only be makes sense to have Duck Hunt be made of metal. Alright, next up we have Kid Cobra. Uh, this will be a primary uh, grab spirit, which will be represented by Richter. Uh, <laughs> we'll be playing on the Final Destination version of Figure 8 uh, circuit from Mario Kart. Uh, we'll have the stamina battle along with the enemy having increased move speed, as um, Kid Cobra is considered to be one of the fastest characters in the game of arms, I believe. And the fact that one of his abilities is a slot is like a heel, like a slide kick of sorts which is something that Richter does have in his moveset. Our last spirit for today will be Helix, which will be a primary spirit that is neutral. It will be represented by Mr. Game & Watch and will be, uh, will be playing on the normal version of Frigate Orpheum. This will be a stamina battle and the enemy, the enemy will be equipped with a back shield. This is going to represent the fact that one of Helix's signature arms is the Guardian, which is a unique arm, which is a shield type arm, which uh, I mean obviously is the point of it, is to defend. Now we don't really, we can't really have it have the electric properties that the Guardian has, but hey, it's something close.
that's all the time we have for this episode of Spiritified. I hope you guys enjoyed what you watched and all the little references I made with these mock spirit battles. If you enjoy this and you want to see more episodes of the series, leave a like and comment down a series that you'd like for me to cover in the future. Also, subscribe to the channel for more fun content on Nintendo and gaming in general. This has been Gravity Ghost, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. See ya!